Good morning, y'all. Christmas is two weeks away. Wow, this year has gone by so fast, but more than anything, I feel like October, November, December just flown by and December's already halfway over. What the heck? It's so crazy to me. So today, I woke up really, really early with Jared, made him breakfast. That was very impromptu. That's not a normal thing for us. Um, usually I wake up when Shepard wakes up. Speaking of, I think I hear him, but I'm gonna try to get this video done before he's fully, fully awake. I shared some of the breakfast with the cats outside, and then um, I just made myself a cup of tea. And today I wanted to share with you what we are getting or what we've gotten our two-year-old son for Christmas. Christmas is, and just gift giving in general, can be very tricky when your kids are very little. And for me, I struggle sometimes trying to find something that is something he would like, but also something educational or something beneficial. We don't do a whole lot of battery operated things in our house. And if you do, that's totally fine. That's just not our journey and that's okay. It's kind of hard sometimes to find things that aren't just like light up battery operated toys. Not to say Shepard does not have those, but when I'm giving gifts to him, I try to keep it minimum on the battery operated toys because in our experience, those things get played with for three seconds and then they're done. I hope by making this video, if you have a little one, even if you have a little girl, this helps you when buying Christmas gifts, whether it be for your little one or someone else's little one. I also wanted to say that we are not huge gift givers. Granted, he has like a couple of bigger things this year. There are things we've just been wanting to get him overall that we're just using Christmas as the time to give him these things. So Shepard is two and he doesn't really know if a toy is brand new. He doesn't know if it's been re gifted. He doesn't know it's from the dollar store. He doesn't know if it's a bajillion dollars. He just doesn't know. And I just try to keep things very, very simple because for him, it could be a band-aid and he's going to be so happy. So with that in mind, that is just something I want to encourage you to do this holiday season. If you're still in the midst of gift giving, it is okay to keep it simple. It's okay to re-gift things. It's okay to repurpose things. It's just okay to do what you can do. It doesn't always have to be big. It doesn't always have to be elaborate. It just has to be from your heart and it has to be something that you know will make someone else happy. So I encourage you to stick to those guidelines this holiday season because sometimes gift giving can just be so stressful because you're always afraid it's never enough and that's just not the case. So I hope that encourages you to just give whatever gift comes from your heart and it will make whoever you're giving it to so happy. He has a lot of things but they're all very inexpensive. They're mostly from either Ollie's. It's like a bargain store. A lot of them are from Dollar General. Some of them have been gifted for his birthday that he didn't really see that we're re-gifting for Christmas. And some of them were gifted to us to give to Shepard and he also never saw them. So we're giving him those gifts for Christmas. Some of them are big and they're not here yet. So it's just a very wide variety of things. Also, if you're new here, my name is Britt. My husband's name is Jared. He woke up this morning and went to work so he doesn't get to be in the video with us but he usually is in these videos. We have a two-year-old named Shepard and we Disney vlog, home vlog, mom and daddy vlog. We're just doing what we can and we're just so happy that you're here. So if you are new here and you're not so subscribed already, please subscribe. We would love to have you. And if you like videos like this, this feels like old school YouTube videos where you sit down and do a haul. I'm really feeling it. But if you like these videos, hit thumbs up so that we know that you like them and we can make more of them. Let me show you what I got my two-year-old for Christmas. Okay. So Shepard is really, really into cars. Like 
really into cars. So very easy to do. You can pick these up at Walmart, Dollar General, Dollar Tree. You can get them at the grocery store. You can get them everywhere. And it is these little bitty, just like little bitty cars. So like they're Hot Wheels. And so we try to get him a lot of the Disney and Pixar ones. He really, really likes those. This one is one of my favorite ones I've seen so far. And it's a little Remy one. Isn't that so cute? A cruise. This one is really cool. It's a Wally -E car. It even has a little plant in the boot. You can't really see through the plastic, but it has a little plant in the boot in the back. It's so cute. And then growing up, my favorite monster truck, I was not a very girly kid. I had a favorite monster truck. <laughs> that doesn't give that away. But my favorite monster truck was Grave Digger. And so we got him a Grave Digger monster truck. We also love getting Shepherd gifts from Ikea because they're usually along the Montessori route and they're always very inexpensive. We picked up this little car train set type thing. Like it's got a track and it's got some little cars that go along it. So we got that and then we also got him an extra set that goes with that and we got him this little set with a bulldozer and then two other little cars. Okay and the last thing as far as like car-ish things go is actually something that was given to him for his first birthday that has been up in the closet and he has never seen it he is too small for it so we're just now getting it out and we're kind of giving it to to him for christmas but we're gonna actually set it up before christmas so that he can enjoy it it is this huge mickey mouse disney train set it's called mickey mouse holiday express and my friend lauren actually gave him this for his first birthday but he never saw it and so we're gonna set it out i think i'm probably gonna do it today so he'll have like a two week period to enjoy it but i don't want to give it to him too soon because i don't want it to break so it says it lights up it has sound it has 3d mickey and mini characters it's a 20 foot size track God, 32 pieces it's, whenever i go to buy him stuff if it has a high count of pieces i'm like skip <laughs> anybody else four unique train cars and it's battery operated so this is kind of for christmas but also not really for christmas this is brand new to him shepherd has never seen this before and i know that you can get these on the shop disney website i'm sure you can get them on like amazon and stuff like that too so one of the big things that he's getting this year is just something he needs and i'm really sad about it we are moving shepherd from his crib to a toddler bed and then quickly after that we'll buy him a full-size bed but just for that in between transition we just bought him a toddler bed yesterday i'll pop a picture up of it on the screen and i will leave all of this stuff linked below i actually got shepherd these bed sheets for his birthday but he never saw them because i actually forgot to give them to him <laughs> they stayed in our guest bedroom his second birthday party was toy story themed and i'm very I'm like overboard on stuff when it comes to like details and so if you've watched toy story andy gets bed sheets a lunchbox battleship and a buzz light year those are the four things that it shows that andy gets for his birthday and that's what i got shepherd all of those things for his birthday and then i left them in our guest bedroom and actually forgot to give them to him he did see them eventually but he did not see these bed sheets so i'm going to give these to him and i'm going to put them on his bed and we're going to set his bed up so it's ready on christmas morning can't believe he's old enough to be out of his crib but he's ready i'm not ready but he's ready these came from pottery barn and they're so cute i love these characters they're still on their website and i actually think that they're on sale right now so like I said, I will link all of this. A lot of the stuff next is stuff that goes in his bathroom. Shepard's a very clean baby. He loves to wash his hands. He loves to put band-aids on. He loves to brush his teeth. Like he's just, those are, those are things that bring him joy. And I take that when I into account whenever I give him a gift. So I'm getting him a brand new toothbrush. Shepard loves Winnie the Pooh. And this is the first time I found a ticker on a toothbrush. Like I said, doesn't have to be big. He's getting it. Two boxes of band-aids. This is a dinosaur box. And Shepard's favorite activity in the whole wide world is to color. And so I found these really cute Crayola band-aids in like the dollar spot at Target. So these are only a dollar a piece and they're gonna make him so happy. This kid loves band-aids and he, if he sees a spot on you, he will be like, oh, Bobo and he'll run to his bathroom, get band-aids and come back and put a band-aid on him. So got that kid some band-aids for Christmas. I also got him his own wet brush because right now he's just using our brush and I think he actually is using my pink one right now. He doesn't know and it doesn't matter. I found this at Walmart when I was like getting some deodorant and it was right beside it and I was like, oh. 
I could finally get Shepard his own wet brush. So this has got Flash and Superman on it. He's not into superheroes, but this is the only like boyish one that I've seen. I know that they have a Batman one. And so if I ever see that one, I'm gonna get that one because I really like Batman. Keeping with the bathroom theme, I picked this up at Ollie's and it was very inexpensive. It was $8 and it's a bath book and it comes with a little net that you can put on your bathtub and it comes with the book and it comes with all these little characters. It's got Goofy, Nemo, Flounder, Mickey, Olaf, and Sebastian and they all have little stickies on the back so he can like stick them all over his bathtub and I just thought he would enjoy this. He's really into Frozen right now. His number one movies right now are Frozen, Toy Story, Cars, Winnie the Pooh, Bluey and he likes Blue's Clues. Those are his like lineup of things we watch every day. That up mostly because he needs more bath toys but also because it's got Olaf in it. And whenever he wants to watch Frozen, he just says Olaf. The whole Frozen movie, Olaf, Olaf. When he wants me to sing him Let It Go at nighttime, he goes Olaf. I also picked Shepard up four new tubs of paint, like the finger paint for the bathtub. I got these for him last year for Christmas and they're in the dollar spot at Target. And so I got him green, pink, purple, and blue. And he loves these and he just ran out of his last two. So they lasted us almost a whole year because we don't use them every bath, but they're always fun to have. But this is what they look like if you are on the hunt for them. Okay, two more things that I found at Ollie's. And if you don't know what Ollie's is, we just got one and it's literally just a bargain store. It's kind of, I don't even know how to explain it. It's kind of like dirt cheap, but way, way more organized. And their book section is incredible. It's one of my favorite places to go for books. And I buy a lot of books and that's one of my favorite place to get books, cookbooks, coloring books, like all kinds of any, any form of book, I love to get there. And I found this one, and it's actually something that I've been seeing at Books A Million, and we've almost gotten it for Shepard before, and it's usually a lot more expensive than this, but I found it for four bucks. And it's got Aladdin on it, and then up here, it's got like a Magna Doodle like a little mini one. So you can take this in the car and like hang out and play. And this just looks like so 90s to me. Like this, this all, like I just love this. Aladdin is one of Jared's favorite Disney movies and Shepard doesn't have anything Aladdin. So when I saw this for like the hundredth time and it was like on sale, I was like definitely grabbing that. And on the lines of a Magna Doodle, we saw this when we were Christmas shopping for him at Target and it's a Magna Doodle. Did y'all have one of these when you were kids? So Shepard got a light bright for his birthday and now he has a magna doodle i'm just i'm so excited that these toys are still around that me and jared had when we were kids and shepherd is going to love this it's this one's a big one so he'll have like a little travel one now and he'll have a big one i'm really excited that they still have them around so that i can give shepherd one shepherd's favorite movie right now like i said is cars we've watched cars almost every day so I tried to find him as much car themed stuff as I could find and that wasn't very much stuff. But this was perfect because it's like a little activity set. It's called a storybook lap desk. And this has got like a little zip in the back for you to like store stuff in. It's got a little coloring book that fits in this. It's got like little things that hold the coloring book. So I thought this would be perfect for car rides. I also found this at Ollie's and it was eight bucks. This book Shepard technically has seen when he was in the store and he like carried it through the store with him whenever we went to Half Price Books when we were in Dallas. And this was the, the book that we chose to get him while we were there, but we decided to go ahead and put it up and give it to him for Christmas, even though he's technically already seen it. But it is Meet the Cars. So this is a whole book about every car in the movie Cars. And it tells you about them. I think it tells you like, about how they got their name and stuff like that. Like what type of vehicle they are. Like it's really interesting. Look at this, oh my gosh. It even has the like ham car <laughs> at the end of it. You know how it's got all the Toy Story stuff. So cool. I mean, it's got every car in the movie. This is just such a cool book. This will be so much more fun when he actually can read and learn about these cars. But for right now, he just loves to flip through it and look through the pictures. So he's gonna re-get this for Christmas because he has no idea that he's that he got it, even though he's already seen it. All right, more coloring books. So we got him this one. He has this one in a really, really thick version. So we got him the little one. We got him a Blue's Clues book. We got him a Spider-Man book. And we got him a Lisa Frank book. This has got all the little animals in it and he is going to love this book. Got stickers and kitties. Shepard loves kittens. It's got little dogs. If you were a Lisa Frank fan, which I was, I was a 90s kid, which one was your favorite? 
I loved the panda bear with the paintbrush, the paint and panda. And I also loved the golden retriever. I think that's what it was, the little golden dog. I loved both of those. And I love the dolphin. Those are some of my favorites. And the next thing, Shepard doesn't have anything like this and I'm really excited about it. I'm also kind of nervous that he won't know how to use it, but I got him too, just in case he loved it. It's called a scratch and sticker journal. So basically it's like all black and then you scratch it and it reveals like a picture underneath. So it looks like this at first and then you scratch it and it looks like that. And it's got a whole bunch of stickers and blank, blank sheets to write on. Found this at a dollar spot at Target. I think he's really gonna like it. I'll probably let him play with this one at Christmas and if he really likes it, I'll give him this one because we're heading to Disney in January. We always try to give him a brand new toy whenever we head to Disney. So he actually might get these for Christmas and he might actually get them till January. So they're a new toy to play with on the plane. Oh, I forgot one of the cars. So another car that we got that was hidden down in this little basket I've collected all his stuff in. We got him a Sally and he doesn't have a Sally car. He does have a cruise, but he didn't have that cruise, but he doesn't have a Sally. So Jared found this and picked it out and he's gonna love it. Also Shepard's favorite color is blue. So this is not only a car's car, not only is it Sally, but she's blue. Like he's, this is probably gonna be his favorite car. Anytime I see these in the dollar spot at Target, I always pick them up because he loves these. These are great for plane rides. They're great for in the car. They're great for church. They're just so great and they're so inexpensive. The only thing I will say is make sure that you do not ever lose the cap because these markers dry out so incredibly fast. That's the only downside to these, but they're very, very cheap. They're mess free and they're wonderful. This is a white marker and it's just got like clear, liquid that comes out and when you draw on the paper it reveals an already preset color it's really cool and he loves these so it's just kind of like that so if you've never seen these or you're looking for gifts for kids or you want to add stocking stuffers these are great Shepard loves these he's got about 5,000 of them but he didn't have a scooby-doo win so when we saw this we had to get it because I love scooby-doo it's one of my very favorite cartoons another thing that we got to pop in his stocking is this mini etch-a-sketch so we didn't know if he would really understand it or like want the big one so we decided to go ahead and get him the tiny one also with his toy story theme themed birthday party i don't know why we didn't already get him an edge of sketch but i guess i just didn't think that i would be able to find them this day and time so i was getting the magnitude i guess it was like a 90s kid toy end cap and i guess this stuff has been along around way longer than the 90s i am aware but this is still stuff that we played with whenever me and Jared were kids. It just had like an end capped vintage toy. So it had the Magnadoodle, Doodle, it had a cup, I had light brights, and it had big etch sketches and this little bitty mini one. I thought this would be great for Shepard to play with in the car or anywhere on the, on the airplane. A lot of this stuff is great for airplane trips. <laughs> He's been really into Blue's Clues lately and I found this at Target and it's one of the little sound books. And it's just this cute little Blue's Clues book. We actually don't watch this version of Blue's Clues. We don't watch the one with Josh in it. Like, not that we don't want to, but when I grew up, I watched the one with Steve and that's just kind of the one that I put on the TV. It's, it's on Paramount Plus if you have that. And the original Blue's Clues is on there. No matter what, he's gonna love this book because he loves blue. Okay, almost done. Just a few more things. We found these at Dollar General. Dinosaurs, so we got him a T-Rex. We got him a Raptor and a Triceratops. And they open their mouth or something somewhere. Oh, just like this. This one's mouth doesn't open. Rawr. Oh, and apparently they make noise because there's like a pull tab here. It says warning, I bite. But anyways, we just we just picked him up through these at Dollar General. We thought that he would like them. He doesn't have a bunch of dinosaurs, but he does like dinosaurs. So we thought we would grab him some of those. They were very inexpensive. And the last physical thing that I have to show you is, this is huge, I got it at Walmart like two days ago. This humongous bluey like coloring set it says it's a bluey ultimate creative studio this has the watercolor like the color wow pen that you can color some sheets on and he loves those he plays with those at church every sunday um it has stamps stickers regular color in sheets i mean this thing has so much stuff in it it's got that the velvet ones with the markers it's got all kinds of stuff and this was i think this was like 20 20 dollars so this is all the stuff that it's got in it scratching color which is kind of like that mickey which is the same thing as that mickey thing that i got him oh he's gonna love this he's just gonna when he sees it he's just gonna go oh, mama 
how like that's what he does when he's so excited. I don't know if he's gonna be old enough to use some of these things, but regardless, he's gonna be so thrilled to get this. They had it in a couple different things. I think they had princess ones. I think they had a Paw Patrol one, but Shepard's all about some bluey, so we got the bluey one. Pretty much, if there's anything bluey and we see it, we buy it. Bluey is always a, an absolute yes in our house. Okay, that is all of the physical things I have to show you, but we did get him three more things that we don't, we can't show you. Or I guess technically the bed too, so four. So we got him a taller bed. We also got him a lightsaber, which is in the box. I'm just leaving it in the box, but it's in there. We got it from the Shop Disney store and we got it on Black Friday. So it was very, very inexpensive. Shepard has loved the lightsabers every time he goes to Disney, but I'm really selfish and I don't buy him one, even though I know it's gonna make him happy because I don't feel like lugging around a lightsaber. I also don't feel like packing it. So I was like, well, when they go on sale, I will just buy him one and have it shipped to the house. So that's what I did for Christmas. We also got him this little chair desk thing. It's like a little seat with like a arm that you can color on or eat on or do whatever. It's got a little basket underneath and it was like $30. And it was just, it's gonna be so perfect for Shepard. And the very last thing that Shepard is getting is a huge wooden swing set. I always wanted a swing set like this when I was a kid. And Shepard loves swing sets. Anytime we go anywhere that there's a swing set, all he wants to do is go up on the slide, go up on the slide. But it was from Walmart and it was the most inexpensive wooden swing set on their website. It was actually originally like $800 and we found it on sale for like $400 off. We ended up being like $380. This huge wooden swing set that's gonna last hopefully forever as long as that is the very last thing that he got and that's his big thing. And I guess also you could say that he's getting a trip to Disney because we're going to Disney just one month after Christmas. Honestly, he's very spoiled to go into Disney. This is going to be his sixth trip to Disney. So at this point, they're not really like, oh my gosh, we're going. To I mean, we still feel that way and we get so excited when we're there, but it's not like this very like unique one, one time like gift thing, but it's still a very magical thing and it's a, still a gift and we're still thankful that we're able to take him. So we're considering that a Christmas gift too. There's, I just noticed that Shepard's, he has a handy dandy notebook that's a dry erase and we've lost the marker and we just found it and there's no way it's not dried out because it doesn't have cap on it. <sighs> Markers last about two seconds in our house. All right guys, thank y'all so much for watching this video. I hope that it helped you. I hope that it encouraged you. If you want to buy huge gifts, if you want to buy 100 gifts, if you want to buy expensive gifts, that is okay. But for the people who Feel like they have to do that or like they're failing if they don't do that please know that it is okay to just buy the little simple stuff like band-aids toothbrushes little bitty cars like they when they're that young they don't care they do not care they just anything new is going to be happy to them you could buy absolutely everything from facebook swap and sell and it all be like used toys and they would be totally fine honestly so i just hope that it makes you feel more at ease and it makes you feel like it is okay to not have to go above and beyond every christmas if you want to that's great i'm sure that we do and this might be above and beyond for some people but you know, it's okay to get the cheap stuff. It's okay to get the expensive stuff. Just do whatever brings you peace and do whatever you can. And just give gifts from the heart. So if you are shopping for a little one this Christmas, I hope that this video helped you kind of just get some ideas on what other kids like and what other mamas buy. And I hope that it just makes your gift shopping and your, your Christmas shopping a little bit easier because a lot of this stuff you can get at Walmart and you can just add it to your Walmart grocery pickup and it just be super, super easy. So like I said, everything that I can link, I will link below. Like I said, a lot of this stuff is from like the dollar spot and it's from the Dollar General and some of this is re-gifted. Um, I can't link all of it, but the stuff that I can find that I can link, I will leave it in a list in the description box below and most of those things that I do list they are affiliate links so just a heads up if there's like a little asterisk by something that means that I make a small commission off of anything that you purchase in those links it does not cost you anything else at all it's totally free to use those links it's just my affiliate codes that help support us and support our channel so if you do use those Thank you so much and I appreciate it. And that is a wonderful way at no cost for you to support our channel. That is gonna be it for this one. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in our next one. Bye.